What's up everybody, Danny's here and we are back out again with another video. But before we get into it, make sure you check out all the links in the description below. So here are my reviews of the Indie World Direct since it came out yesterday on the Nintendo Direct. But it's, it's just an Indie World Direct though. It's kind of like a Nintendo Direct though. But um, so far we've got some really good games though. Even though I have them posted on Twitter, aka X. But sometimes I just call it Twitter somehow. So, um, we have Little Kitty, Big City. It'll be releasing in May 9th. And I believe we didn't get Hades or Hollow Knight Silk Song. Well, people are kind of upset about that. We need Hollow Knight Silk Song. I mean, a lot of people are saying about that, though. I may have to talk about that on the video next time. Because so far, we've seen Nintendo releasing only some of the games that we don't some of the games that we really see and Nintendo doesn't listen to us. Like we want them at, we want them to go to Nintendo to request it on the next Nintendo Direct. Like Zelda, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess, they still don't have it. Like I'm kind of upset about that though, honestly. It's just not upsetting though. It's just, they just don't have much time, but still. So that's why they don't, don't have much time to put Zelda, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess on the Nintendo Switch. Because it's a GameCube remastered. It's also on the Wii and the Wii U. Except Wind Waker's on the Wii U. Not the Wii, okay? <laughs> but I like Twilight Princess on the Wii U. So, but it's 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 pretty much good though. Now, here's my favorite gaming part so far. Now, I don't talk about Indie World Direct that much though. It's kind of really good though overall. It's kind of like the Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase we have though. But it wasn't a Nintendo Direct though. It wasn't a regular one. But maybe we can get a Nintendo Direct in June. That would be a good idea though. And we may have a Zelda Wind Waker Twilight Princess Direct though. We may have one. Like we have one of those video game directs. We've seen a few like Super Mario Brothers Wonder, Super Mario Maker Direct. And even Super Mario Brothers 30th Anniversary. Now as you guys may know Nintendo Treehouse Live was actually discontinued with E3. E3 was also discontinued as well because they don't make E3 anymore because of how disappointing the delay was, sadly. But even though there was some busier time for all video game companies, Nintendo won't be doing Gamescom in 2024 though. But um, luckily we have the Nintendo Switch 2 will be releasing and I may, I'm so hyped for the next Nintendo console. But all as I can tell about the indie world we have like a lot of indie games on the Nintendo Switch directly. And we have also Fortnite, which is easily one of my favorite Switch games to play. And I also like Minecraft as well though. I've played Minecraft a lot though. I mean, so many people are getting into Minecraft a lot though. Now, as you guys may know 100%, I'm sure though Nintendo will be getting into more updates of Minecraft because We've seen like bug fixes and seen there was a lot of issues on the Switch, but they it Minecraft was updated on the Switch though, and it looks really better. So now the Indie World Direct from yesterday was kind of good though, even though we have like a few games was live streamed for only twenty minutes, but the the Nintendo Direct only streams for fifty minutes. Now that's how it goes though, the estimated time, 15 minutes though. Now, how do we start getting these games coming to the Switch though? It may be in the end or on the next Nintendo console because, because as soon enough though, we may be getting the next Nintendo console, which would be a Nintendo Switch 2 or the Nintendo Switch Pro though, or the, or their next console or just a different one because we don't know what's gonna happen in the future for Nintendo. But um, even though the Wii U and the 3S online service shut down, Nintendo, mi Nintendo might do the same exact thing for the Nintendo Switch if it's discontinued though. So yeah, that was my review of the Indie World Direct. So far, it's really good though. I really like it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure y'all hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And also subscribe if you're new. The Indie World Direct is came out today. It's on YouTube. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you all so much for watching. 
and I'll see you guys next time.